It's been a very difficult time, as you know, for the royal family. Since Princess Kate disappeared from public view more than two months ago, following what the palace called abdominal surgery. Princess Kate's absence and an edited photo have fueled speculation and also outrage, a lot of outrage, over a lack of transparency. The family is asking for privacy, but some say now there are bigger issues at play here. Holly Williams has the latest from outside Buckingham Palace. Holly, good morning to you. The, the conspiracy theories are off the charts crazy. Good morning. Good morning, Gail. Well, Kate reportedly visited a farm shop near her home over the weekend and watched her children play sport. But there are no photos, so the conjecture and those conspiracy theories are still whirling. A powerful British tabloid newspaper is warning the monarchy is close to crisis. Kate hasn't been seen publicly over 35 days. Blaming in part Kate's disappearance from public events. If you thought the craziest parts of the Kate Middleton conspiracy theory were over, well, just get ready because they keep getting thicker. Followed by the release of this manipulated photo. It sparked speculation and criticism. The exact same face from this photo. Is it time the royal family drop their strict mantra, never complain, never explain as well as Twitter? jokes yeah. there was a non-zero chance he died 18 months ago <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> might be weekend at bernie's in this situation it's <laughs> even raised questions about the state of her now. marriage internet sleuths are guessing that kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future king of england william having an affair Whoa. it's not whack-a-mole you can't go out and try and stop every story that is coming out on X, on other platforms. Julian That's Payne is an expert in crisis public relations who used to be a spokesman for the King and Queen. Anybody that tells you their press operation is faultless would be kidding you. Of course mistakes get made. What lesson have they learned? They will naturally question how long you can maintain a dignified silence. They may discover that these days it isn't possible now for us to have three months with absolutely no news. Kate is now the most popular member of the royal family here in the UK, according to one recent poll, eclipsing the king and her own husband. It's a striking similarity with another princess who married into the institution and was adored by the public. But Julian Payne says members of the royal family are not normal celebrities. When we think about Hollywood celebrities, they understand that they are the brand. They need the media attention in order to be as successful as they can be. That doesn't translate into the royal family, where it is the institution where the focus should be. So they're working for the monarchy, not their own brands. This is exactly it. When I was in the palace, I can tell you the last thing that they ever wanted to do was to increase the personal scrutiny on themselves. The monarchy still has over 60% support in this country, according to polls, and not saying very much has historically added to the royal family's mystique. It's worth remembering, I think, that some of the media demanding to see Kate may have a vested interest because they use fresh photos of the royals to sell newspapers and get clicks online. Nate. Mm, that puts it in perspective. Holly Williams at Buckingham Palace. Well, Thank you. Dickens. I thought Julian Payne made a really good point, guys, where he said they may want to rethink the dignified silence. I mean, I thought when Tina Brown was here last week and she said even the Queen, when she was ill, you saw her on a Zoom. Yeah. I think people just want reassurance. And if it is true she was at her child's game, why wouldn't we see pictures of that? It just yeah. leads all the crazy talk to continue. People might want... Uh, reassurance, but they're also nosy too. Yes. And sometimes privacy is something that we all just. I know. You're we, so right, we deserve, Nate. We, you know all I mean? of us sitting here talking, know nothing, <laughs> and it really is none of our business. Yeah. That's a very good point you're yeah. making.